Good morning folks, it's Paul here from All About Motorbikes coming at you with another vlog and it's another adventure with the teapots. I'm meeting Graham at Thorntonley Dale. I brought me a uh, Canon camera as well this morning because I'm thinking I'll get some uh, nice still shots as well. Because yes, the drift actually, you know, it brings you along with me but if you want to zoom into somewhere like that it pixelates everything and it's not good so I've brought another camera with me today hopefully I'll get some other shots with it and uh, we'll see how it goes this is another way of filming for me I'm gonna try and make sure it's right I'm just testing this uh, brake because I'll tell you why I put some shorty levers on this bike that I was kindly given by a, a good friend, Jordan. Thank you very much, bud. So I'm testing them out now. Uh, now I've done my brakes because they wouldn't, they didn't seem to work before properly. So today's gonna be another nice little steady ride out. And a little bit of an enjoy, enjoyable ride. We'll hopefully bring you some nice scenery. And uh, when you're watching this, you'll be able to relax have a beer or a smoke whatever you choose to do and enjoy so I'm not gonna waffle now I'm gonna bring you back when I'm meeting up with Graham at Thornton Dale or Thorntonley Dale and I believe we're not far from Thorntonley Dale now so I brought you back guys and we're gonna have a nice little steady ride in here I'm actually half an hour earlier for the ride so it'll give me a chance just to relax warm up a little bit and wait patiently for Graham but <laughs> you never know Graham could be here you don't know and here we are yes I'm definitely in thought in the deal now and respect the 30s regardless of what people think got to respect these little 30s look at this see if you crap going round here about 40 50 mile an hour you'd never stop in town so we're going to go to the end of this road this junction here and we're going to turn left and uh, we're going to wait park up and wait patiently for Graham get out here actually yeah Graham's not here yet well we've met up folks and we're on our little teapot tour it's turning out to be a nice day today and when I came over the tops there to come into uh, Thorntonley Dale you couldn't see much at all it was foggy and misty and the some of these cottages here are absolutely stunning I bet this place has seen some flooding with this beck coming through here where it comes up over this road as well and those houses will suffer at times I bet that's, that would be the only downside for me living in here, fear of flooding. So, I've got the route that Graham's done for me, and he had changed it, but it's now changed back. Because apparently one of the roads is actually closed off that's on our route that he was we were going to do. So we'll see anyway. Some bikers nod, some don't. I don't know why. Anyway, it doesn't matter. All that matters really, folks, is that we're out on the bikes. 
and we're having a good day. Graham's actually wearing his attire that he's going to be uh, using in Scotland. A little impatient bloke there in his little RS. See me. I can understand. This is autumn and the uh, colour of the leaves on the, and on the trees and on the bushes and everything is exceptionally beautiful. I love this time of year. So this is the actual line? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's right. And the next place after this is Rillington Junction, where the line connected with the Scarver to your flight. I'm going to get a photograph of this. Yeah. That'd be all right. It's a little known thing. They wanted to come back here, but they can't get through. They can't get through uh, Pickering. Right. Because Pickering. It, it, they've, they've, they've literally obliterated the railway, it's not yeah. there. No, that's right. Gisborough's got one exactly the same as this. Yeah. Yeah. It so it'll never be reopened. And it's called it's what? They were so keen to get to the other end, so the back is the line. Right, yeah. Oh, yeah. I've got to get a photograph of this. You see them, it's called at Marish House. Yeah. Low Marish. Yeah. They painted a mural on the back of there. Right. Oh, it's brilliant, Graham. Yeah. Oh, it's nice to see the old railways. That was uh, an old railway line, and uh, that we stopped. I've took a few photos, and you'll be seeing them. I think we're going to end up, head over to Old Malton. That's our destination now, folks. I don't think I've actually ever been through Old Malton. So it'll be interesting to see. Uh, I don't know whether Graham's got a plan of stopping there or what have you. But we'll see. Malton, I think we're going straight over this roundabout too, folks. Oh, Eden Camp there. The old World War II Prisoner of War Camp. It's now a museum. As a model of a Spitfire in mid-flight on the camp, it's brilliant. And there's, a, there's people who play like the ukulele, like George Formby and stuff like that. I've been once or twice and it's, it is, it's really good. Ah, this is old Malton Town, so oh, straight off there on into here. So this is old Malton, oh look at that, that's a nice cottage there. Highland beef sold here. Look at these sandstone houses there. And straight into Malton itself. Now I do know that there's a uh, bloke who sells motorbikes here in Bolton. As to where it is, I have no idea. I love these little buildings here on the left hand side. It's called the Old Lodge as well, just here. Look at that. Wow. So this is Bolton folks, and I'm, I've never been through here. Graham knows his ways. <laughs> he does. I wouldn't have a clue.
Oh, I think I'm sure I've seen him in do this before on one of his early videos. Well, I think I'd get lost coming through there. I certainly wouldn't have a clue where I was going. I'm glad I've got this fella up in front showing me the way because I wouldn't have a clue. I'm very conscious uh, that I get very overwhelmed with the beauty that surrounds us on these trips and uh, <laughs> my last video that I was con continuously saying look at that blah 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 you know it's just but that's who I am I, I just love beauty I love countryside I love nature I don't think you can beat it Whoa, whoa, look, there's a quarry, I see, I didn't even know that was there, a quarry there, never knew out about that one, that's uh, stunning, you wouldn't have been able to see it on here, but uh, yeah, that was nice, little quarry, I've got my army scarf on the day, well it's like a head scarf, it pulls over, um, but by God, it's keeping me nice and warm. It's actually lessening the wind noise in my helmet, to be honest with you. It's definitely the day for motorbikes today. I've seen hundreds out today. Not a bad day for an autumn day. You have the sun out, it's not really cold either, it must be about 15 degrees, 16, which is, for me is ideal. Todd lads had enough. I'm to walk his bike up. I want to get a couple of pictures of all this. I'm glad you stopped here. Well, we had a little photo stop. And we're going to go over the bridge now, the uh, ones I've just took photos off. There's some nice fishing in there. And this on the last video is where the steam train came across. Oh, I hate that because it's slippy as. I seem to be getting away with these uh, brake levers and that. Yeah, they're not too bad actually. I will change the colour. I don't like this colour. So there, that the next job for me would be to get some uh, paint, black spray paint. Take them off, hang them up, give them a bit of a spray. Do you know you just can't beat being out? or two wheels you really can't and again folks I'm out with a great friend I love these straight roads it's like the roads that the Romans built look at these trees in this autumnal, autumnal colour lovely and the leaves gradually falling off them as the trees now are shutting down for the winter for winter's sleep although I will say we don't have such a long winter sleep these days but it's nature preparing itself preparing itself for this slumber during those cold winter months 
when there isn't much food and water and there about and all the animals will have stockpiled their little little piles of nuts and berries and things like that This is such a beautiful place, it really really is. I'd have loved to have seen this when this was first created. So I believe this is Castle Howard anyway. Absolutely beautiful place and some uh, lovely little monuments. this lovely lake. I believe Graham's gonna stop here somewhere so we can get a picture of this. He wrecked the he wrecked it with the oh, here we go. Oh there yes here we are that's absolutely stunning isn't it Oh god, yeah, wow. I'm gonna get my camera, we'll have a few shots of that. Got a couple of good cracking shots of the, uh, the Castle Howard from a good distance away. That's the beauty of our rear uh, still camera as well. But uh, it's a Canon SX1 and it actually takes uh, brilliant uh, photos, but it also takes true HD film as well, and the sound quality on it is really good. Absolutely thoroughly enjoying this ride. There's a lot to see and a lot to take in. I think we're heading over towards a village called Hovingham. I think really all those guys have been very lucky lately with the weather. We'd be, which has allowed us to, to get out. We'd be really lucky with the weather. It's allowed us to get out a lot more than what you normally would. I mean, I ride all year round anyway, as you know. But I love doing, I mean, going commuting on your bike isn't actually getting out for a ride. Now look at that view, sorry folks, but God almighty, that's a view and a half. You can see for miles around here, brilliant. It's a completely took me off where I was talking about. And again, I don't think the uh, ghost will be picking this up as well as my eyes but you can see for 20 30 mile in all directions well you can't see to the right now and you can't see to the left but you can see straight on <laughs> so this is slingsby i've heard this mentioned a few times in some of graham's vlogs and we're heading, so it's two miles to Hovingham and ten miles to Hemsley. You can't beat Yorkshire stone, Yorkshire sandstone houses. Do you know, today I haven't actually been talking a lot about much, and it's just because I've been sat back riding away and taking in everything without actually talking too much because I absolutely love what I'm seeing and I think it's also brilliant that I'm out riding this bike again in some some of the most beautiful countryside that we have uh, that England has to offer I mean Yorkshire for me is 
one of the most beautiful counties ever to exist. It's got a mixed bag of everything to offer us. It really has, and the roads are, are, are lovely. Some you get long sweeping bends, some nice twisties. You know, there's there's beautiful scenery throughout the whole of Yorkshire. This is a nice little uh, place. Oh wow! Nice little village, Hovingham. Hovingham, eh? Lovely old people's cottages there. The malt shovel, nice little public house. Hovenham Bakery and Rolling Pin Cafe. What a beautiful place, isn't it? Well, that's where I thought you don't park, you don't pay, but in Emsley you do. Yeah. What a beautiful little place. Just had a lovely cup of coffee and a sausage sandwich at the Hovenden Bakery and Rolling Pin Cafe. I sat there. Run our way over to Wemsley now. Well, we're going to actually ride through Wemsley. We don't think we're going to stop. Look at these buildings here. Absolutely stunning. I like that one. Just waiting for Graham. Some lovely, lovely villages out here. So this is Hovingham, and a lovely, lovely stop here. See, everyone seems to stop in Emsley, but the thing is with Emsley, albeit a lovely place, you have to pay to park. And again, I will say we're having an absolutely beautiful day. It's uh, we've been sat outside in late October in our t-shirts. Unbelievable. That could have took us to Kirby Moor side that way, and they, they cut out Emsley. Although I don't mind riding through the town of Emsley, it's a nice little place. But it isn't certainly, certainly not on my uh, list of favourite places to go to. I hope you guys are enjoying all this. Such a beautiful, beautiful scenery in front of me. Stone Grave this is. Oh, Emsley's five and a half mile ahead. Typical Yorkshire town, North Yorkshire town, should I say? Stonegrave Minster. Ooh. Interesting. Oh, yes. There. You won't be able to see it because I can't turn my neck around that much. There's something to be said, isn't there? Just for being out and about. I mean, yes, I commute every day on my bike. 
but that doesn't feel like you've been out for a ride. This is what I call going out for a ride. We're definitely being blessed with days, good days when we have been out riding and I hope this sort of thing continues because uh, when we're at the North Coast 500 I mean yes we'll still be doing it regardless of the weather but at the same time you want it to be nice don't you? You enjoy things a lot more when it's nice. Sproxton, the village of Sproxton. This little church. It's a tiny little church, isn't it? Tiny little church, that. Yes, I think the weather's definitely on the turn. You're not going to get many good days like this today. For the next month or two. Having said that, I'm probably totally bloody wrong. And we're going to get amazing days. So I believe Emsley is here. We're coming into the village of Emsley. Every man and his dog comes here. And this road is notorious for uh, uh, notorious for the police catching you. And is there any point really going beyond the speed limit? It's there for a reason. Oh wow, see I like that. He does well, does great to come up this far, bless him. He's a bloody good friend. So we're heading over towards Scarborough now, folks. And I think um, we'll end up having a cup of uh, coffee together over in Scarborough and probably say ta to each other. But as always, it's a pleasure to be out with Graham because the ride is so laid back and, and comfortable you know you don't feel pressured you enjoy the ride you can take in all the scenery you have times for photo stops and things like that you know it's it's really relaxing and it's just where I need it it gets rid of all those that you know you've been at work all week and you you wound up this this kind of riding for me unwinds me <coughs> and makes me you know helps me face the challenge of going back to work for another week well this is the main arterial route from uh, Pickering I mean from sorry from Hemsley to Kirby Moorside, Pickering and then not Scarborough and it's very very busy with uh, bikers this road and this is why um, you generally find that there's a lot of police at the roadside with speed cameras I remember years ago coming down past this place and on the left hand side here they used to keep deer in the field and I don't know whether they still do I can't see any deer but they used to keep deer here this is Snainton Snainton again a typical Yorkshire village 
with this I love these kind of walls too we've turned off that main road which I'm not a particular big fan of and we've come onto this back lane here which is more my style and I think it's definitely more Graham style too we don't me and him neither one of us like those main, main roads they're just there's just nothing for doing with them the boring traffic just wants to be past you that causes chaos whereas I'd rather come down roads like this and see pretty little things, pretty little villages, lovely houses and good things with the view so for me that's what it's all about this is East Dayton folks and these I'm so glad that we've now actually come down onto these roads and this is going to take us into Scarborough I believe there's a couple of bikes up ahead this is lovely Oh, that's beautiful too. Look at those pretty little falls there. Sorry about that, sir. I just wanted to get. A, I wanted to get a picture of this. I just—it's quite nice, isn't it? This is the River Derwent. It's Derwent. Yeah. And I think, yeah. Have you? <laughs> I just, I'm going to get my camera out and have a photo, take a photo. The only downside to this tar and feathered uh, road malarkey is that it flicks up stones at your radiator and all sorts. I love riding through things like this. I think this is where I'm most happy, you know, we're, we're off the beaten track, we're off the main drag where everyone's in uh, such a damn hurry and we can take our time again, you know, and be at one with uh, this kind of environment. It's much nicer. That's a lovely little area, this, and I didn't even know it existed. I really didn't. Some kind of waterfalls or something down here? I don't know. Suffice to say, I have. <laughs> There's lots to explore around uh, our neck of the woods that I haven't even come close to seeing, really. Ah, oh, this is more like it. Look at the view here, eh? Look at the view. Oh, this is, this is where I call a view, folks. Beautiful. Oh, wow, look at this, eh? Isn't this amazing? Especially where the sun is shining down that valley. It's beautiful. Yes, now this is more like it. These are the views that I love and I feel better. When I'm on them old, old ordinary roads, as I call them, I don't like them at all. And I certainly don't like when the tire and feather these roads either. Ah, oh, I'm home. That's how I feel. I feel like I'm home. This place is called Hackness. I was a 
big pond there. That I know knew nothing about. I love this, how this little uh, runs down the side of here. This little waterway, it's beautiful. It's been another pleasure, great pleasure being out with Graham today. Absolutely thoroughly enjoyed myself. Oh, poor pheasants. This is one where you couldn't come hoofing down and then breaking really hard because the gravel on this road would just take it away. It certainly would. Oh God, I wish I could uh, get rid of those trees now because I can see through there and the view out to the ocean is absolutely superb. But I don't think we're going to get to see it. It's breaking, it's breaking a little bit. Whether you can see that and I can see it. It's absolutely gorgeous. This is just therapy, absolute brilliant therapy. And we're about here, we're not too far now. We're actually in Scalby, which isn't too far from Scarborough. And some of these houses here are absolutely beautiful houses. I'd love to live in a little village like this. I really would. Lovely little motorhomes. One of them, I'm gonna to have to have one of them for, for when I retire. So I can become everybody's pain in the ass. <laughs> and I'm just gonna leave this to run for a little while. And I'll play a little bit of music for you until we get actually get to the seafront. And I might talk and I might not. It just depends. Looks like a canal. Well, you wouldn't get a river boat down there. Well, we've reached the end of our uh, destination. We're in Scarborough. This is where me and Graham will end up having a coffee on the seafront and then parting the cup. Right, so I will say goodbye folks, it's been a pleasure having you along again, I absolutely love doing this for you guys, and uh, so until next time my good friends, bye for now, and stay safe, bye bye.